just how old is human civilization? We feel there is strong evidence to suggest that more than one period of prosperity has been experienced in the past. We have realized that many past civilizations have come and gone, going back beyond what is now still in existence. The human species, it seems, has outlived the existence of our oldest ruins here on Earth. This may mean that the true origins of modern man are, in fact, lost in time forever. Many ruins we have explored are now argued as geological formations merely testament to their immense age, and also begs the question what other ruins may have been lost to erosion. How much older does human civilization actually reach back in time? And just how advanced have past civilizations become? One clue to this answer lays within the ruins themselves. Astonishing feats of engineering that not only indicate a high level of intelligence, but also technological prowess. Extraordinarily refined works, which can still be found in the less inhospitable environments of Earth. One of these lesser shared sites is undoubtedly Varangal. Located within the South Indian state of Telangana, it was predictably once snapped up by our less capable ancestors, possibly claimed as their own, subsequently becoming their capital. Home of the Kakatiya dynasty from the 12th to 14th centuries, this inhabitation, we feel, has then been used regardless of the ancient ruins in question to age the stone carvings which can be found at the site. Stone monuments carved with such accuracy, skill, and precision that they evade any logical explanation as to how they could have been completed with any of the technologies we know were available to the Kakatians, specifically within the 12th century. The site clearly demonstrates tremendous skill and also technological prowess. These stone monuments were clearly not only created to express an artistic message, but they were undoubtedly created to display the creator's capabilities, encapsulated in time, quite possibly for the exact purpose of people like us to recognize them as they may have with similar ruins that were possibly in existence during their own lifetimes. There is a greatly more interesting and extensively larger story to tell regarding the history of our planet. However, as long as those in power feel inadequate simply saying, we don't know, ignorance and lies will continue to plague our species. Easter Island undoubtedly one of our favorite ancient places, not only does its existence resonate with the mission of our channel, but its volumes of compelling stories, legends, and still existing ruins makes it one of the most intriguing places to explore anywhere on Earth. Not only are there legends of a magical Earth force known as Mana, having once been responsible for the as yet unexplained movement and placement of the gigantic Maui statues that can be found littering the coastlines. Once covered in thick forests, dense trees fed by the fertile lands which now surround the now extinct volcano, at some point within antiquity, these forests experienced extreme and rapid deforestation. It is currently not known what happened to the wood acquired. The island of Easter is, in fact, an entire buried treasure. These remains, possibly preserved under several meters of earth, still found upon the island. What's compelling regarding the buried remains is that they could indeed be those of the people who were once responsible for the movement of the statues. A fragment of a civilization that we have long stated is not a mere few thousand years old, but very possibly a pre-Ice Age, world-going, highly advanced civilization, once capable of moving stones we are yet to explain the placements of. Could there quite possibly be perfectly preserved, highly advanced ancient ruins buried under many meters of Earth all over the extremely remote Easter Islands? Furthermore, could there actually be existing evidence, or possibly, the lost technology responsible for moving such stones still within the reach of being publicly exposed and out of the reach of conspiratorial powers who would, if capable of such a task, excavate such sites and hide away these controversial features? What's buried on Easter Island? 
Easter Island is undoubtedly an incredible place, and one which still has much to show the world regarding our past. It's an amazing thought that a tiny place thousands of miles out within the ocean could hold an ancient secret capable of affecting all of us. There are many enigmatic, unexplained ancient mysteries which we have covered here on our channel. Many mysterious ruins which are slowly revealing their secrets to us. However, what must be the most intriguing of the historical subcategories has to be the Oparts, out-of-place artifacts that have been found all over Earth. These mystifying items are the only subject within the field which can shed their own very unique lights upon the distant past and sometimes hard-to-believe possibilities attached to their ages. The island of Samos within Greece is home to a number of these particular artifacts. 1.5 kilometers off the coast of Turkey, this small island has a big history. Within the island's capital museum is a wide range of very impressive artifacts. The most interesting among the collection is undoubtedly the strange bronze artifact which according to academia, merely depicts a strange form of unknown carriage that would have once been pulled by horses. However, some also believe that the strange animals are actually depicting a form of periscope and that the entire artifact is actually that of an ancient submarine. Additionally, there also exists another amazing artifact that we felt was worth a mention, found within private collection. Originally a religious idol, what do you think this wooden artifact is depicting? Could it actually be that of modern-day paragliders, somehow sent back in time, seen and depicted by this once ancient people as a religious vision? It's an incredible, if rather imaginative thought, but it is testament to such artifacts' intriguing nature. There are many incredible, out-of-place artifacts that can be found all over Earth, each one just waiting to tell to spark our interests. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care. When one begins to realize that many of the ancient sites found here upon our planet have, throughout the years of modern study, only ever been attributed to civilizations we have actually been able to study in detail, rather than their true creators, a highly advanced group of individuals, once capable of constructing awe-inspiring structures using unimaginably huge blocks, fortresses perfectly built, with stones placed together as if cut to size. These stone structures have come in many shapes and styles, yet undoubtedly the most impressive among the collection is polygonal walls. Many of the most popular are located within Peru, although their fascinating existence spans much further afield. Delphi was once an ancient sanctuary, famous for being home of Pythia, an oracle who was consulted about important decisions throughout the ancient world. Interestingly, the Greeks considered Delphi the navel of the world, with a mysterious stone monument known as the Omphalos of Delphi, having once been placed there to signify this. Located on the southwestern slope of Mount Parnassus within Greece, Undoubtedly the most compelling feature of the site, and the one we feel indicates the true identity and thus its actual immense age, is its polygonal wall. That, according to academia, was somehow built by the Greeks from around 510 to 323 BC. However, the site's wall, although rarely academically mentioned, is in fact lost knowledge, or more precisely, an advanced method of ancient construction that we are yet able to explain or unravel. We have long stated that many of the ancient sites around the world were seemingly built prior to some form of reset within human knowledge and development. Structures built with such skill and with such enormous blocks that these surviving remnants may be all that is left to now indicate their once existence. Thankfully, however, Due to the unfathomed skill involved, these remaining fragments are, for all intent and purposes, out-of-place artifacts within our own history. 
Was the entire site merely reoccupied and claimed as another's creation? A claim conveniently allowing academics to avoid appearing out of their depth. Who built Delphi? When was it built? Were the ancient theaters, stadiums, and statues attributed to the Romans and the Greeks actually creations left by a people far older? With such unexplainable features at said locations, we find the evidence to suggest such highly compelling. <laughs>